<laughs> I fell as fishing some docks again, kind of like a follow up, looking for some big fish. Uh, water's got, well, I don't know, went from three inches of visibility to about six, waiting for some better weather. We're gonna start targeting like the Spanish mackerel and stuff, so we've been kind of stuck inshore. Water's 65 inshore, so no exotic stuff just yet. I'm gonna fish bait primarily because we're looking for the big stuff. Beautiful day out here on the Cape Fear River, though. Uh, not a, not a cloud in the sky really, high pressure, it's real warm. You got all our old historical structures. Um, if you're kind of a history person, uh, you can really dig into the Cape Fear River history. There's some cool stuff. That's Bald Head Lighthouse over there, Bald Head Island. There's definitely a lot of uh, cool stuff in this neighborhood. Anyway, let's start fishing, here we go. I'm just gonna start with what we left off with the other week, right? Bottom sweeper, mud crab. Crack his shells a little bit. Get his juice is exposed. I think we're ready to cook here now. Cook with the fire. Chum a little bit, you know, get some scent down there. Get these fish a little hungry. Never a bad idea. Couple of hits here. Might have been something decent. Huge fish, guys. It's a huge fish. It's a huge fish. It's a huge fish. Oh my god, he went out of the structure. Got him up here. It's gonna see. I think that's a redfish. A little too crazy to be a black drum. Oh yeah, big red. Look at that redfish, fellas. Nice. It's a nice size red. That 40 inch class. Awesome. Look how perfect that bottom sweeper is in his mouth. Come on, come on. We're gonna end this right here. First fish of the day. Some pretty nice size redfish. Trying to not whack my rods there. Give him the old up and over. Show you him. We typically land these fish pretty quick because we're fighting structure, fighting them in heavy structure. So I'd say this fish is probably about 40, about 40 inch class. Beauty of a fish, man. All right, I'm gonna give him a quick plunge. Should be on his way pretty quick. I find that sometimes with the reds versus the stripers, the quick plunge definitely gets that, releases the air and gets the oxygen going, as opposed to the slow revival of the boat. That's kind of what I noticed. You know, this is this is kind of my preferred setup for this, because uh, sometimes those bites are kind of light. That that bite was pretty light, and we had a lot of croakers and small little tap taps. It's a 40 pound leader and 30 pound uh, Berkeley X9. That's an awesome braided line, and uh, Spheros 4000. Kind of, kind of maxed out on the drag towards the upper limit. So let's see if we get another one. It's a lot of fun, man. That looks like a big fish right there. See that line? That is a large drum. Ooh. No, that's no toad fish. What kind of fish could that be? Black drum? I don't know. He's shaking, he's thumping. He's going the distance. He's growing. Oh, whoa, whoa. Not a, bit, not a giant, but, uh, you know, five pounder. It's definitely not what we're after. 
Look at that dark color, man. Look at Black drum. Little one, though. Not quite what we're after out uh, here. Nice big red was definitely cool, but this is an average black drum. They got nice, really nice colors on them when they're this size. Current starting to whip pretty good. Might be a fish here. On this platform. Looks pretty fishy to me. So here we go. That's an Atlantic croaker. Pretty small one at that. Um, when I was a kid, man, we used to catch croakers like that. <laughs> Not these little guys. These guys barely have a fillet on them. Uh, but where the times have gone. This one might be over kind of quick. I would say that was kind of a slow bite, but we're gonna see in a second here. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Is it the black drum? Redfish? Something like that. Okay. All right. Getting close to that structure. Especially as time rank right now. Uh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. We're doing a little flay ride. A couple donuts. See what this fish is. Black drum. One of these puppy drum here. All right. That'd be considered a better black drum. Nothing really huge, but yeah. Look at the scars he's got, man. He escaped a shark. That looks like a shark scar. Cool. All right, let's put them back. One more time. My roll call here. The current's starting to get real gnarly, so I think we're gonna be done here in a minute. We got two black drum and one red fish. Not really that hot. Red was big, but uh, yeah, at the same time, nothing crazy. Okay, it's the one we want. What do you think? I think so. Oh yeah. Oh yes, sir. Oh yeah. Looks up some monster here. That's for sure. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. That's good. It's a nice redfish, man. Monster red. Oh my gosh. I can't get him to turn from the current, man. Not good, not good. Yeah, big boy. All right, makes my second redfish. We're in two reds to the black drum. Okay, well, there it is. That's a redfish, huh? It's uh, probably around 40 inches, I'd say. Took that bottom sweeper jig, bottom quick. Put them back in the water, right? These are certainly as good as it gets uh, of an inshore fish. 
around these parts, so uh, I certainly love them. He's got sea lice on them too, so all right. Them out. All right, we're packing it in, headed in right now. So I'm kind of just sticking around local. Water 65, uh, sorry, 67. Um, it's still like that, you know, spring stuff. No uh, fun species just yet. Spanish mackerel just arrived. The sheep set aren't even in really in good numbers yet, at least where I was today. Typically fishing this sort of structure with the bait I was using, yeah, sheep set is definitely a guarantee. Setup I use that's the Spheros 4000 SW. That's a kind of the new Spheros. Um, I don't know if they're how I don't know how widely available they are just yet. Um, I used it on that Jigging World hybrid rod, awesome rod to tang with some, with some brutes, you know. Um, and bottom sweeper jigs, I like them how they can, you know, a lot of these bites were subtle today, man. Um, Andrew ended up with three red fish, myself with two, and I got two black drum. Uh, no, no big black drum for me. Really the three opportunities we have close to home right now, it's a uh, black drum, red fish, and uh, speckled trout. You know, a lot of this stuff this time of year, Cape Fear River, a lot of this stuff in the, in the Chesapeake Bay, uh, Delaware Bay, you deal with this quality of water and it's, uh, it can get a tough fight. And you know, you're kind of limited on your artificial lure opportunities. Um, so yeah, I'll take my big reds. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get back into the blue water out front real soon, start fishing the rocks, start fishing for Spanish mackerel, those should be around, do a little more artificial lure fishing. Um, yeah, I just, uh, you know, looking at this water clarity here, sure I could have tried to throw a couple lures for some smaller speckled trout, but uh, really, really maybe, maybe we'll do some more uh, trout focused stuff soon too, so. All right, I think we're packing it in. We had a pretty good day though. Check out the video's description, you know, setups, what we did to catch those fish. Um, mega structures are lots of fun. Andrew caught my paddle today. I didn't even notice I knocked it off. That's usually how it goes, but. Yeah, I saw it slide by me. I was expecting you to come around the corner and chase it in. I know, I was just like totally <laughs> oblivious. Totally, ob you got anything on the artificial now, right? I didn't think so. Yeah, I think we're done for the day. I think so too. There you go, that's some serious, uh, some serious chocolate milk.